Welcome back to Majora's Mask, and we are about to head over to West Clock Town, I think. I think so. I keep getting West and East mixed up. Wait, is this West? Wait, that's North. So I'm headed towards East right now, so I need to go the other way. And before we leave this area, hit this owl. Make sure. Whoa. Yeah, way to block the first owl, Link. Sheesh. Anyway, this is your save point, and in the future, it will be your warp point, so do not forget to activate that before you leave. Anyway, here we are at West Clock Town, and the first place that we have to hit is right here. Head on inside, and this guy walks out to greet you. Welcome. So we're gonna ignore the bombs since we can find those anywhere, and we're gonna buy the bomb bag. Now you can carry and use bombs! That is so much easier than in Ocarina of Time. You had to go into a dungeon and everything to get that bomb bag. But seriously, why would a guy sell bombs to a kid? Yeah, mister, I want some bombs so I can blow up my friend. Please, please? Yeah, sure, 50 rupees. Jeez. I think they give kids too much credit in this game. Anyway, we're gonna head towards the swamp now. We are finally ready. Granted, there are more things that we could do here, but I'm just not gonna bother right now. I'm gonna just do that over- ouch! An ant just bit me. But yeah, I'm gonna do that over the course of the game to get all the heart pieces and whatnot. Cause I really don't wanna bother right now, all in one sitting. Besides, I'm sure all of you are waiting for me to hit the swamp, right? I know I'm waiting for it. So anyway, we're just gonna head straight south. No turning, no uh, detours for now, no whatever. Look at this, it's a choo-choo. Choo-choo. I'm a running, I'm a running. And as we pass this tree, Tattle stops you. remember this? Tail and I drew this with the Skull Kid when we first met him. He told us that he had been fighting with his friends and that they had left him all alone. Poor, poor Skull Kid. So now you're in Memory City. Flashback time, go! the sounds that fairies make. It's a lot better than that, hey, listen, 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 hey, back in Ocarina of Time. On the other hand, I do not like the sound that Skull Kid makes. It's creepy. It sounds like he's in pain. So you yeah, no dialogue or whatever. It's just plain old memories of how they met the Skull Kid and how they became friends after all that sweet stuff before he got the Majora's Mask anyway my ear is itchy but I don't want to scratch it because I'll make a weird noise oh well I'm sure it was all it was because he was always playing tricks so nobody wanted to play with him. But to do what he just what he just what did it did no shut up, shut up, I am not failing at reading. That was in your mind. That was not me. I read it perfectly, thank you very much. And once he got his power. So that was a good um, minute or two of flashback. So we're just gonna head over here and first things first, kill this dude. 
Now, we're gonna stop here for just a second. I'm gonna pop on this mask. Yeah, that, that is very creepy, Link. Thank you for showing us that. Yeah, we're gonna shoot down as many of these bats as we can. Boop. Or chop down. Whatever works. Oh! Oh, I don't like you! Ha! Alright, now there's one on the ladder right there. Oh, it's not called Keys here, it's called Bad Bat. Hmm. Oh yeah, I am good. Okay, now let's see. I think that's it. Now what we're gonna do is climb up these vines. And our prize is at the top. We got a piece of heart! So we only need one more piece to get a full heart. Oh, whoa! Uh, I actually- uh, that was a total accident right there. That was kind of cool, actually. Alright, now, second thing we want to do here is... No, bad aim. I don't even know if we can afford this, but best to check anyway, so you guys know what this floating dude is. Alright, speak to him. What's this? Green clothes? White fairy? Sir, could you by chance be a force fairy? Oh my! My name is Tingle. I think I am the same as you, sir. A forest fairy. Alas, I am already age 35. No fairy has come to me yet. My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle is, a, is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Yeah, well, whatever, weirdo. And he does a gay little dance in his green tights. That is absolutely nightmarish. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? I'll take Woodfall, thank you. So this is how you get maps on in this game. Tingle ends up all over the place. Like, you'll see him floating in uh, the snow area, the mountain area, the ocean area. He's just pretty much all over the place. He comes in handy, actually, but I just wish we could have the map by default and not have to buy it all the time. But oh well. It is kind of convenient, though. Anyway, first things first, we're gonna head up here to check out what's going on. This fairy got- oh. That, that was a little lame. This Deku guy right here will give you his flower if you um, give him the deed to the one inside Clock Town. It's kind of like a deed trading game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am welcome! Oh, the Racism! Racism! That is blatant racism! Well then, why don't you show me the pictograph you've taken? No, I don't have one. So yeah, basically, I'm just showing this to you so you guys know what's going on. You don't have to come up here. But, um, he'll give you a pictograph, uh, pictobox, whatever. And then what he's talking about is the lady over here. Well, there's supposed to be a lady. But she's not here right now, so we are going to exit. I just wanted to show you guys that area before we head headed off to what we have to do. Wait, why did I do that? So for this area, I prefer having on this um, Deku mask. So you don't have to swim all over the place. Alright, now first things first, we are going to come this way. Up there is the old witches area. Um, one of the witches in there is supposed to be hosting that pictograph contest, or boat ride rather. But if you go up there, you'll find out that she's not even there, so we're gonna head in here first. Follow me, follow me! So now you're pretty much doing the same thing as the Lost Woods and 
uh, Ocarina of Time. Except this time you actually have a guide leading you. You don't have to kind of walk in front of it and tell which way is... Ah, eh, whatever. You guys remember that part. I'm not even gonna bother explaining it. It's not even this game. What am I doing? Anyway, here we are. This is Kome. Oh wait, is it Kotake? Let's talk to her. Help me! Whatever. I forgot if that's Kome or Kotake. So we're gonna take off this mask real quick since she won't tell you anything as a Deku scrub. And I am out of time, wow. Um, I'm gonna end this here and we'll talk to her in the next episode. See you guys!